So we have a football player who's standing 30 meters from the field goal post. He holds the football in front of him, 1.5 meters from the ground, and punts the ball in an attempt to make it over the goal post, which is 6 meters above the ground. If the ball leaves his foot at an angle of 50 degrees, traveling at 20 meters per second, answer the following questions. And those questions are, how long does it take for the ball to reach the ground? How far has the football traveled when it hits the ground? And did the football go over or under the field goal post and by how much? So let's take a look at how to do this. Because we didn't go over this one in class. So we're told that, draw a sketch. Here's our player and the ball. And down field, we have the field goal post. And it's going to take off in that direction, which we're told is 50 degrees. And the velocity was 20 meters per second. And we want to know how long it takes, how much time it takes to hit the ground. We want to know how far down field, down range, the ball actually travels. And we want to know when it interacted with this plane of the, of the uh, field goal post. Did it go over? Did it go under? Uh, and if so, by how much? So first, let's solve for time. Let's write down what we're given. We know that um, delta y, that is the change in displacement from here, 1.5 meters above the ground, to here on the ground would be negative 1.5 meters. So that's your change in displacement in the y direction. We're looking for time. We also know that it's going to have some initial velocity in the y direction, which we'll figure out in a moment, and that it's going to accelerate at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's figure out the y component of the velocity. We'll do that over here. So we have a triangle that is 50 degrees and 22 meters per second in magnitude along the hypotenuse. And so find the velocity in both the x direction and the y direction, we're going to use some trigonometry. So the velocity in the x direction is going to be this velocity of 22 meters per second times the cosine of 50 degrees. And the velocity, the initial velocity in the y direction, because it's going to slow down as gravity takes over, is going to be the same 22 meters per second times the sine of 55 degrees. And to do that, we find that the cosine of 50 degrees times the 22, uh, rather 20 meters per second, 20 meters per second, my bad, uh, is going to be a velocity in the x direction of 12.86 meters per second. And the initial velocity in the y direction before gravity begins to slow it is going to be 15.32 meters per second. So this is the initial velocity in the y direction that we we'll use here. And it's going to be positive. It's moving in the upward direction. And we already designated it as down as a positive direction. And you'll notice that as we do this, uh, solving for time, the problem is going to be quadratic. So let's write our quadratic up here. Let's make sure we Remember what that looks like. That's ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And let's identify what each of our terms are. Our ax squared is going to be the same as our negative 1 half gt squared plus our vi in the y direction times time plus our displacement of negative 1.5 meters meters, and that's going to equal zero. So I'll fill in the rest of our numbers here. We have um, negative 4.9 meters per second squared. That's one half of g t squared plus our 15.32 meters per second times time minus 1.5 meters equals zero. So I'll let you look at that. That describes what our problem is going to look like as we solve it quadratically. And so we're going
going to have uh, two solutions to this when we plug in to the quadratic. We're going to have two times, and actually both times will be meaningful, one more so than the other. The times that we get are going to be negative 0.095 seconds. Now that's not the time that it takes to hit the ground. That's actually the time it would have taken as a projectile launched from the ground to go from the ground level up 1.5 meters going at 20 meters per second at 50 degrees. Uh, the time that is going to be more meaningful for us is the 3.22 seconds, which is the time it will take to hit the ground over here. Uh, so now we want to find how far down the field it has gone. So we know that it has been in the air for 3.22 seconds, and if distance is velocity in the x direction times time, then we can find what that distance is by saying the velocity in the x direction, which we said was 12.86 meters per second, times 3.22 seconds. And so the displacement downfield turns out to be 41.41 meters. So this is how far it went. This is how long it took to get there. Now the last question is, um, when it interacted with the field goal, was it over or under the, the bar? So we want to find out at what time it was in this plane. So we know that this is going to be, we were told, uh, 30 meters from his foot. So where x is 30 meters, that is, what is the time it took to get there? And then we'll find how high it is at that point. So at 30 meters, where we have x equals 30, uh, we want to say x over v equals t. And that's going to be 30 meters divided by, we said, 12.86 uh, meters per second. And that gave us a time of 2.33 seconds. So we want to know at 2.33 seconds, where was this in terms of the y coordinate? So let's make some space over here. We'll figure all this out. Let's record our time of 3.22 seconds and our distance of, what do we say, 41.5 meters. Let's make some space. that where it is along the y-axis is going to be any initial displacement plus vit minus one half gt squared. And we're solving for this. This is how high it will be off the ground when it is uh, 2.33 seconds through its trip. That's when it is in the same plane as the field goal post. So y equals our initial displacement is 1.5 meters off the ground plus the VI, which is 15.32 in the Y direction, times our time of 2.33, that's where it hits the field goal post, minus 1 half G at the same time 2.33 squared. And when you punch that into your calculator, you're going to get a displacement of Y equals uh, 10 0.59 meters. So at the time that it goes uh, over the field goal post in this point, uh, the field goal post was only 6 meters, so this was uh, 4.59, roughly 4.6 meters over the field goal uh, at that time. And that's how you work uh, a projectile motion problem that requires the use of the quadratic.